Hey guys, this is Ken from Mahalo.com, and in this video, I'm going to teach you about ducking your audio in iMovie 11. iMovie 11 has made working with audio even simpler. Now, let's go show you the big changes. Well, one is this option right here. This waveform is very important. I recommend having it on always. So, as you can see right there, it's almost kind of hard to work with audio. We're like, what do we have to do? And what you would have to do is double click and go to audio. And if you wanted to reduce the volume of the clip so you can hear the music or vice versa, maybe you want to hear the music more or maybe you want to hear the audio more. Best thing to do always is have this option on right here. So let's say I want to hear less of the music and just really want to put that in the background. So well, let's go ahead and play it at normal level. Be nice for your sister. So let's say I want this audio, maybe just as background, not too much because it's too noisy. So if we want to duck the volume, so let's go ahead and hit spacebar. Be nice for your sister. And there we go. That's just how easy it is to change the volume. And it's what I like about having this audio feature on, it's, it's just easier to go back and forth instead of double clicking the clip, you know, changing it. I can make changes almost in real time and get it to exactly where I want to go. Now the same is done with this audio right here. So I can, let's say maybe I just didn't want, I just wanted to make like a cool intro for my movie so I didn't want too much sound. So I can duck the sound all the way to zero. And as you can see, we can click here in audio, we have ducking. But what's cool is we can do that just with working with the waveform. But you can see when I'm changing the ducking, it's changing it for that particular clip. So then in that clip, it's like, hey, I'm going to make that lower. But if we want to do that manually, it's Control-Z. And I can just choose a selection. Then just drag. So I have the audio higher. Maybe I want the audio higher in this part. And that's just a cool way you can adjust the volume. So depending on your film, maybe I want the conversation to be heard here and not so much of the music. So we'll go here and we'll do that. So those are the two options that you have. You can double click the clip, go to audio, and ducking, reduce the volume of other tracks. And the fade in and fade out, uh, I've taught you that before. The fade in and fade out features are these little guys right here. It's kind of hard to see with the, all the clips, but let's go ahead and, and show you right here. So this will fade in my music and I can do the same thing with fade out. And let's go try this out. Beautiful when they finish with I can't wait. I'm glad I heard they were gonna sell it and I got see so right there I lowered the music and raised the volume. So depending on your film, I always say have this little guy right here on at all times. Because it just makes working with audio really easy. And it's just kind of similar to Final Cut Pro. Um, and I'll just show you here really quick. And then let's check it out right here. So I'll double click my audio, and just like in iMovie, when that, the next time someone tells you iMovie, oh, that's just a simple program. Let's go ahead, or Final Cut Express, I can raise it up here. That's a good way. And then same thing with my music. Here's my audio. I can just go ahead and raise that, or lower it all the way down, you know how to hear it. And there you go, guys. And I even threw in a Final Cut tutorial for free. Not bad. Two for the price of one. Well, guys, this has been Ken from Mahalo.com, and thank you for watching. If you guys have any requests for videos, send them in to request at Mahalo.com.